Hi everyone. So hope you guys have already enjoyed the previous series, the suture series. I hope you guys have already learned something. So this week we are going to start a new series which will be talk about the cancer. Before we start to going down to the rabbit hole, so let us start with a few definitions and let us digest a little bit. So, what would a surgeon would want to know the definition? <coughs> By knowing the definition, you will know what is going on in your patient. Whoa! Let's start with something simple. When you guys ready open the first pathology book, the first page is always come with this term hyperplasia. What do you mean by hyperplasia? Hyper means more, a lot, above, right? Plasia means formation, right? So more formation, right? So the definition simple is just an increased number cells right increased number of cells so hyperplasia is a benign condition it can happen as a normal physiology right as opposed to hypertrophy right hypertrophy is the increased size of the cell when you go to gym lift up weights right your muscle is the one that hypertrophy all right okay and hyperplasia you increase the number of cells like your prostate not your prostate sorry not our patient's prostate <laughs> right before i talk about metaplasia metaplasia okay you must understand the normal physiology of cells which is a differentiation Cell differentiation is from a single cell which is a pluripotent. It go through the differentiation depending on the region of the body. It will become, let's say, it become a cuboidal cells, or it becomes a squamous cells, right? Or it can become a columnar cells. It depending on which region the cell resides right so that is differentiation we call these pluripotent cells immature cells and all these differentiated cells we call it a matured cells during my lectures I like to ask my students this all right this is the start of the rabbit hole right meta Plasia, right? Meta plasia. Meta is conversion actually. Like what the Barry Allen said, meta human, right? Uh, converted human. Yeah, we have superpowers, right? Okay, but meta plasia definition, right? Is a reversible. This condition is reversible, right? Reversible conversion, alright? Of a matured cell to another matured cells right due to external stimuli this is very very important so the keywords here is it's a reversible condition it converted to a mature cell type to another mature cell type due to external stimuli because it's due to external stimuli so you take out the external stimuli and it can convert to a, a original cell all right for example various esophagus various esophagus is the intestinal metaplasia 
say is an intestine of metaplasia is from a squamous cell which is like the esophagus esophagus is squamous cell and it convert into an intestine of metaplasia due to what acid and bowel reflux right so we already know the cause of the acid and the bowel reflux so what we do is we take out the reflux we take out the external stimuli so the spared esophagus it reverted back into a squamous cell right so this is how you reverse a metaplasia so is metaplasia precancerous mm -mm, not yet now we come to dysplasia uh -huh. dysplasia is the functional <laughs> okay but unintended yeah so it is still considered a reversible condition in which it has a loss of differentiation okay and also it has loss of uniformity of each individual cells in a tissue if you have lost the uniformity of the cells it in turn it lost the normal tissue architecture and this will be due to external or internal stimuli right. external stimuli is what is the stimulus outside the cell internal stimuli is nothing other than the dna right the dna alteration that is the one that caused the internal stimuli right so if you look at the layers of the cells right so this is the basement membrane okay. i'm talking about epithelium here yeah? as an example right usually they are purely potent cell at the basement membrane right so let's say the skin so when it further goes out the cell are differentiated to become a squamous cell What happened in this plasia is that somehow one of the cells here COVID, they become loss of differentiation and it started because it have no way to go, right? So it started to become a proliferate. Okay, so how do we grade the dysplasia? As you know from the throw in just now right dysplasia often comes from the basement membrane and you look at this loss of uniformity you would need a core biopsy right we will go to that in the later on lectures right so that you have the tissue architecture if not it's quite difficult for the pathologist to ascertain the gradient of the dysplasia because the gradient of the dysplasia depending on how much of the composition of dysplasia to normal uh, cell ratio look at this is full length right base membrane, membrane okay to the capsule all right okay so we were divided into thirds this is one third and this is two third and this is full thickness because we have divided into thirds that is mild and then we can put this as a moderate and we put this as a severe and so this is synonymous to um, we call this a low grade dysplasia right and this is a high grade dysplasia or uh, there is nothing in the middle right 
For the newer classification, we would like to use uh, low grade and high grade. Low grade means less than one third, right? The maximum is one third. If there is a two third to foot thickness, we already call this a high grade dysplasia. Why is this important? Mm, mm, for over the years, we realized that by putting the classification moderate, is quite mm, confusing, right? And we miss a lot of uh, cancers because dysplasia can be precancerous condition, in which the precancerous condition is this high grade dysplasia, even though it's reversible, but it will progress to become neoplasia and further become a cancer. Hi everyone. So these are this is the end of the lectures. I think our attention span is only 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not going to talk more. If I'm going to talk more, <laughs> we are we are going to lost in the rabbit hole. You can actually uh, review back this video to look at the definition. I, I got this definition for Robbins. Right? It's one of my favorite books. There are a lot of definition. There are a lot of confusing terms. And probably we can discuss in the comment section. Right? Okay? So, please remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button at Next week, we are going to talk more on this cancer series at the same time, same day, and same channel. And this case search, bye!